Um, let's go. <gasps> let's go get my horses or mounts. Yay! Also, I need to go and sell a bunch of stuff too. Hello, I'm here to sell valuables. I would like to get money from you. Jimmy Bridges. Um, here we go. Sell, sell, sell. Thank you! Hmm. I don't think there's... I think the merchant's looking at us down here. Because apparently there's a quest of some kind. Hello? You have a quest for me, apparently? So if we get better horses, I think that'll make a difference. Master Dennett's horses in the hinterlands are faster and stronger than anything we've got here. A good horse can make all the difference. The mare I grew up with saved my life. She died when the demons attacked. I'm sorry. Feels silly to mourn a horse. With all the people we've lit pyres for. Well, like you said, a good horse can make all the difference. Boop. Oh! <gasps> right! We've got a Blackwell since then. Make her look at it. So much easier to ignore when it's far away. And to actually walk out of it, to be that close. I was lucky. If I hadn't been saved by the Inquisition soldiers, I don't know what would have happened. Inquisition soldiers? That's not what I've heard. I have to admit, I thought you'd be... Human? Yes. At least you're honest. Being up front is better than knife ear. It was a foolish thought. Should have known better than to say anything. It's what you do, and how you do it, that's important. Just one question, then. How do you think you fit in with all this? Um... I'm not sure yet. It's been a whirlwind. It's hard to say where I fit. I guess we'll have to figure that out. For me, I'll be satisfied so long as we find the bastards that killed the Divine. They owe us some answers. Blackwell, we can talk to you. Oh, sorry. Before we start talking to him, because that'll probably be the end of the session, because it usually takes a while. Uh, stables. Oh. Right. I get to keep all my horses, because I clicked the golden knock. Um. Right. So this is one of the things we got. Was this one? Yeah, look at that pretty, look at that pretty heart. Um, this was the other thing we got. <laughs> I hate this thing. This thing terrifies me. <laughs> also, that's not a unicorn. That's just a dead horse with a sword through its head. <laughs> um, we also. Apparently got a war nug. Oh, I forgot how cute this is. <laughs> I never use it, but it's so cute. Oh, jeez. Just because I, I think they're adorable. There you go. There's a snow version of this really creepy uni unicorn quotations. Um, I regret clicking the golden nug. Nice and pretty. I think I did run around with a heart a lot in my original playthrough, just because they were so pretty. Like, look at that guy. Look at, look at, uh... I know what that part of the body's called, other than just back leg, but I can't remember. Ooh, don't, don't shoot, don't shoot the heart. Uh, Pride of Olathen. It's a nice little... Actually, not really little. Nice brown, brown heart. Wild one. Oh, it's pink! I forgot that. I might run around in that just because it's pink. <laughs> I'll need to get a ride a pink mount. That is not a horse. I'll see getting like all these weird snow ones. Oh, these guys are cool and creepy at the same time. <laughs> oh, they're worse than I remember. <laughs> I don't normally run around with these. There you go. Just just look at this. Oh no. 
I don't remember how I got all these, but apparently I do. That's I thought this was called Blue. Oh, Blue River, okay. <laughs> Desert Lightning. <laughs> They're so ugly. <laughs> uh how about Oh no! <laughs> Uh, here's your fashion show of of all the mounts I apparently have that I gathered in the last game. Oh, uh, and always such as that one snow one. I had a lot of horses. It's really just the exotics I didn't have all of them of. Just a nice, nice light chestnut. And yep, yeah, I think that one might have been the one. I like that coloring of horse a lot. Dalish, all bread. No. Okay, so also I'm like, I think I'm gonna run around with a heart, and I'm going to the horse. I'm like, oh yeah, the horses are also pretty. It's got a lot of nice big horses. There you go. It's a brown horse. They're horses. They're not meant to be that weird. Oh, Palomino. Um, I don't know if that's the actual color. I'm just kind of guessing on what I think the colors are. Supposed to be called. Yay! Well, I have a lot more mounts than I thought I did. <gasps> Ooh, I actually kind of like the idea of running around with just a white horse. Just literally be the knight on a white horse. That'd be great. I think that was the one horse we just got, the armored one. Uh, and of course, you need your frostback one. There's always a frostback one. You got armor. That <laughs> armor seems dumb. Which one was the white one? Was it this one? I think it was. There we go. Let's run around with a white horse for a bit. Okay. That took too long, but I also had fun. But we need to talk to, uh, Sergeant Blackwell. I've heard rumors of abandoned warden camps all over these parts. If we have time, I'd like to take a look. See if there's anything we can salvage. <laughs> You're strangely charming. Let's let's not open with that. Uh, tell me about the wardens. Let's talk about the Grey Wardens. You must know a lot about them. Ah, the wardens. I'm afraid we're less exciting than we seem. What do wardens do? The blight's been over for ten years. What do wardens do when the world's not ending? There are still darkspawn. Just because we kill so many in Ferelden doesn't mean they're gone. And the world is not so peaceful that there's no use for good men with swords. Sometimes you have to figure out for yourself what the pledge to protect others really means. It's not always about just archdemons and blights. You're all in the blight. Where were you during the blight? I was in Ferelden. On my own, like always. Quietly killed my fair share of Darkspawn too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, sure you did. Why were you traveling alone? You haven't had contact with other wardens for a while. Why were you on your own? It's what I've always done. Recruitment only requires one man. Besides, I've always been a loner. Works best for everyone that way. Where have the wardens gone? So you have no idea where the rest of the wardens are? Do you find that odd? The blight is over. We don't need an organized force. And orders don't change much from day to day. <laughs> For the last thousand years or so, it's been just find Darkspawn, kill them, repeat as necessary. We can speak later, which is next. Let's continue. Because I apparently make that joke every bloody time. And then I address the fact I make that joke every bloody time. Something on your mind. Um, let's talk about you. I want to hear more about you. Compared to yours, my life will seem dull indeed. Uh, where are you from? Your name, Blackwall, doesn't sound Orlesian. Marcher, then. Ferelden. I was from the Free Marchers originally. Markham. That was a long time ago. Another life. So you have a past. What kind of question is that? I hear that many wardens were once criminals. You're right. And when you join, your past is forgotten, so let's leave it that mm -hmm. way. You weren't always a warden. What did you do before you became a warden? I was a soldier, a, a nobody trained to wield a sword and follow orders. I grew weary of fighting other men's wars. So 
So you became a warden? More or less. Becoming a Grey Warden was the first time I felt like I mattered. The life I led before seems hollow in comparison. Perhaps one day it will fade away. Why did you become a warden? Why did you join the wardens? Because they remember honor and sacrifice. Words that have little meaning to the rest of us. Because they lay down their lives for those they have sworn to protect. We all need to believe there are such men in the world. I needed to believe I could be one of them. Okay. We can continue this discussion at another time. Very well. Do -do -do. No, you're not walking away yet. Thoughts on the Inquisition? What do you think of the Inquisition? I expected more. More men. Better equipment. You may have Andraste's favor, but wars are won by men. Soldiers. Ah, uh, wars are won in many ways. Brute force is not always the answer. There are plenty of other paths to victory. <laughs> True enough. Still, it never hurts to be prepared. Oh, so true. One thing I will say about your men. They're passionate. Devoted. You inspire them. Build on that foundation. And you will have an army that makes nations tremble. Um. Oh, geez. Okay. Uh, your thoughts on the war? What do you think about all this trouble between the mages and Templars? Looking at it from where we stand, it seems inevitable. But that could be hindsight. How many of us actually saw it coming? Either way, I don't think the Chantry will ever recover. That's not how history works. What about Haven? What do you think of Haven? It's a war camp that was once a pilgrim's refuge. It's the state of the world though, isn't it? Holy ground turned into a battlefield. Pity about that temple. Would have been nice to see it. Uh, thought... What about this? Uh, what about our cause? What do you think of the Inquisition's cause? Restoring order is a goal I support wholeheartedly. But that's not the end of it, is it? Not by a half. The Lady Seeker believes we are restoring the Chantry. Others say it needs reform. I don't know where you stand on the matter, and I'll admit I haven't made up my mind either. Uh, thoughts on my advisors? What do you think of my advisors? Cullen. He's got the look of a man who's been through too much. He's seen the best and the worst of humanity, and I think he still struggles with where that leaves him. Still, I trust him to watch my back. How about the other two? What do you think of my advisors? Josephine's lovely, and craftier than you'd expect. The Inquisition could not have picked a better ambassador. Why about Liliana? What do you think of my advisors? Liliana seems... nice. Also a little frightening, but mostly nice. Sorry, I just had a really weird train of thought of I like how this one we can question. Cause there's um in As You Like It, um, that is what a speech where like life is like a theater or however it's actually worded is from. And in that speech oh no, it's not that speech actually, but that character, uh, Jacquez, I just realized how much Blackwall is like Jacquez. I hate that pronouncing of the name. I always want to pronounce it Jacques. Um Apparently it's been out of Jacques for some reason. Regardless, there's like he has another monologue later. I don't know why I thought it was this one, but that I I love that monologue, but there's just one line where it's like, ladies are nice. <laughs> it's just like, I don't know. I love that character a lot. I like I as you like it's one of the few Shakespeare plays I actually really like. Um <laughs> and no one's watching, as we all know that's not true. So I'm hoping this is sarcastic. You're not saying that for my benefit, are you? Are you so certain you're being watched? Are you so certain we aren't? I don't want to wake up with a blade in my kidneys if I can help you. <laughs> Fair. Uh, thoughts on my inner circle? You must have some feelings about our friends. I fear for Cassandra sometimes. The way she throws herself into battle. I've never known a warrior like her. Uh, again? You must have some feelings about our friends. Don't play Diamondback with Solus. You've been warned. Taught him the game last night. He turned around and beat me at it. Lost everything. Had to walk back to my quarters with only a bucket for my bits. <laughs> oh, oh. You must have some feelings about I just got what he's referring to for bits. Don't play diamond back with yeah, yeah. You've been warned. I have. 
<laughs> no. I'm here. We're not having this quest conversation again. What do you think of the Inquisition? You already know what I think of your forces. I'm not sure what else there is to say. Um, I want more of my inner circle. You must have some feelings about our friends. Madame Vivian only allied with the Inquisition because she knows it will bring her power. The most poisonous snakes are often the most beautiful. Uh, inner circle? You must have some feelings about our friends. I fear for Cassandra sometimes. Okay, we already got that. she throws herself into battle. I've never known a warrior like her. Come on, we have Varric and we got Sarah. Talk about you the rogues here. You must have some feelings about our friends. I fear for Cassandra sometimes. Okay, fine. The way she throws herself into battle. I've never known a warrior like her. Um... Well, that's enough on that, because you're just going to keep repeating yourself. As you wish. You are, after all, in charge. Yeah, about that. Something on your mind. You're strangely charming. You're oddly charming for a man I found wandering the forest. I always thought myself more odd than charming. But I'll take a compliment from a lady. They're hard to come by these days. <laughs> oh! <laughs> I wasn't actually really expecting there to be a full conversation, <laughs> I'll admit. Um, uh, okay, come on. We all know what the answer to that is. Um, let's just go with this one. I like your modesty. I also find your modesty endearing. And the praise keeps coming. So, is there something large and heavy you need moved? <laughs> this is why I shouldn't actually do romances on Let's Plays, because I just start feeling really awkward having my characters romance other characters. And it's just like, oh, people are gonna judge this. <laughs> um... Uh... Yeah, possibly, sure. <laughs> Manual labor in exchange for compliments. Useful. Well, I aim to please. I have to say, my lady, you're unlike any woman I've ever met. I'm flattered you'd spend any time with me. I enjoy your company. That went fast. Uh, we'll talk later. Nothing right now. Perhaps in a bit. Okay, there. Oh. That question mark's gone. Okay. Plus, so I'm breaking into your house and stealing your things. Oh, you don't have any. Wait. No, you don't have anything to steal. Fine. Do you like that black wall? Um. Not much else we can do, and I need to end the session soon because I don't really have much time. Um, apparently we got we got more quests we can do. Um, I think Josephine got something in on the war table, so let's just go grab that and s maybe send something out again before ending the session there. So that shouldn't take too long, other than actually running up there. <gasps> so pretty. Oh no, the door's glowing. Okay. <laughs> the door frame disappeared, guys. We need, to, we need to make sure that stops happening. Oh, it wasn't the door frame, it was the metal part reflecting. Okay, that makes more sense than just things not appearing in. I'm gonna have a busy week, so I can't really... I need to actually prepare. So I can't do too long of a session today. Um, Ambassador, I very much enjoyed your soiree, and I hope to see you at the summer cottage for our picnic luncheon next month. Do not forget about the ghastly things said about your associates. More reasons heads will prevail, and this foolish goss, goss this foolish gossip will come to nothing. Yours, Duke Cyrad. Um. Oh, only Josephine can do this. Uh, the Inquisition is in its infancy, building an organization. Organization. Wow, I just lost all ability to talk. Building an organization such as this is likely is like building an army. You need soldiers, weapons to arm them, food to feed them, and that's just the beginning. I joined knowing I can make a difference. I have Grey Warden trees. These allow us to take what's needed, when needed. We do not face a blight, but surely a torn sky warrants as much concern. Consider it, Warden Blackwood. Josephine, this could work. The blight is but ten years past, and Thetis remembers how we we were served. 
or we were saved. I can use the treaties to leverage the goodwill on oh, the Warrens and use it for the Inquisition. Let us begin. Yeah, I'll be free. I don't think anyone else is done yet. Nope. But they will be done by the time next session starts, so I'm gonna end it here. I want to thank you for watching. Hope you had a good time. Uh, I have to drag this out because I did not expect this long of a learning stream. Okay. So see you in the next video. Bye.